Bonifant? No. Mr. Hempstead? Yes. A decision was finally made on the extension of the Maritime Aquarium's lease during Tuesday evening's Common Council meeting. Before the vote, several Common Council members expressed their views on the lease. They have taken on that financial responsibility in our agreement. The city still maintains the land and it still maintains the ownership of the building. Um, I, think far, uh, I think it's a fair lease. The city is investing, has invested millions and millions of dollars. And the only thing we were looking for is an opportunity for our kids to uh, utilize the aquarium. Currently, we have a program in place that it costs anywhere from $450 to $500 for a kid to participate. Under the proposal, the Maritime Aquarium would pay the city an annual rate of $1 a year, as well as pick up all maintenance costs. Until now, those costs have been paid by the city. I think the the Maritime Center has an aquarium, has a, a good history of plenty of goodwill in the community. And I'm not, I'm not worried about that. And I would say that I'm pretty confident that the message was heard from, from the council to, to the Maritime Aquarium about um, different programs and keeping their eyes open. We really can't begin to incorporate uh, a whole variety of uh, possible program, programmatic changes uh, into a long-term lease that would create all kinds of complexities and possibly box both the, either the city or the aquarium into a corner uh, should things work out a little differently than we anticipated in the next few years. So again, these are good ideas and I, and I hope we can Im implement them, but I think you don't implement them through a lease, you will implement them through discussions. So people have contacted me and they said, well, how could you be against a program that brings uh, 120 kids uh, to Norwalk from Bridgeport? And I said, well, it sounds like a great program, but I'm elected in the city of Norwalk, and I represent the city of Norwalk, you know? And although it's a great program in Bridgeport, it seems that this is an instance where the city of Bridgeport is doing something better than us because they are establishing a program and we're not. After their remarks, the proposal was put to a vote. Ms. Stewart? No. Ms. Melendez? Yes. Mr. Watts? No. With 10 yes and 5 no votes, the motion passed. The Maritime Aquarium's lease will be extended through July 2031. In Norwalk, I'm Quadriba Crawfee for It's Relevant News.